This is Cameron Chai bringing another episode of Azo TV and today I'm speaking to Joe Fragala from NanoInc and he's going to tell us about their dip pen nanolithography systems. Good morning Cameron, thanks for the opportunity to tell you about the new and exciting things that are happening at, uh, at NanoInc. Um, as many people know, uh, NanoInc commercializes dip pen nanolithography which is essentially taking a sharp tip, an AFM tip, dipping in an ink and then writing with it. And the materials could be anything from simple molecules to uh, soft materials and, uh, and hard materials like sol gels and metals. And what's, uh, what's new recently is the uh, NLP, the nanolithography platform, which uh, does away with the AFM and is just a writing tool. And it's uh, set up to write um, uh, larger arrays. It's good for writing uh, patterns over much larger areas, uh, and it's set up for doing um, uh, biological materials where you can control the temperature and humidity. The NLP for printing uh, liquid inks is enabled by the MEMS consumables, the pens and the ink delivery systems that are made at the uh, MEMS facility that NanoInc has in California. As you can see, the pens have channels in them to uh, focus the material, to transfer the material from the cantilever to the tip in order to print more uniform spots for a longer time. And we've also had to update the ink wells in order to transfer the material from a micro pipette to small channels and then to the uh, cantilevers in order to get the ink to uh, to be to get the ink to the cantilevers for writing. Some of the applications that are enabled uh, by this are printing uh, polymers. Uh, you could be printing uh, block copolymers or conductive polymers uh, from, a, from a liquid uh, precursor. Or biologic materials, like printing proteins and then uh, making a uh, chip that can sense um, antibodies or an antibody chip that can sense proteins. Right, John, just behind you on that with, with your demonstration you've got going on there, what, what actually is that? that going on. So what we're doing here is we're printing a uh, acrylic polymer that's UV curable and um, as you can see the spots are very uniform in size and you can print uh, multiple sizes uh, just by changing the dwell time. And how many, how many tips have you got going there? Great question Cameron. This particular array has 12 cantilevers but we have arrays that can print up to um, uh, 48 different inks at the same time. So Joe, can you tell us about any new develop MEMS developments with regards to your consumables? Absolutely. Um, we've been working very hard on making these cantilevers, these tips, work well with liquid inks and we've got some new developments coming out very soon where we improve the way the uh, ink flows on the cantilevers, how much ink it holds, in order to print um, more uniform spots, lower CVs, for longer times. So will that give you a greater versatility with the types of inks that you can use? Absolutely. We're also looking at how different cantilevers work with different inks of um, different viscosities and surface tensions, as well as the interplay with the uh, surface on which you're printing. So does that mean effectively you'll almost be able to tailor tips to, to inks? Absolutely. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Oh, well, that sounds like it'll provide a great, more, a great deal more usability for, for your users effectively. That's what we want to do, have a family of pens and ink delivery devices to, a lot, to make it easier for the customers to use their inks rather than the customers having to modify their inks to work with our existing pens. Alright Joan, if anyone with more information about uh, this system or any of your other dip pen nano lithography systems, they can find that on your website? Absolutely. The website is www.nanoink.net. All right, Joe, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about your new developments with your dip pen nanolithography systems. Thank you very much.